Greetings to everybody who are watching this lecture. We will start with a beginner's guide to process costing introduction. Questions such as chapter applicability, process means, practical example of process costing industry and how to approach process costing problems will be addressed. Applicability. This chapter is mainly applicable to those companies who manufacture the goods in stages, each stage being called as a process. Step by step, the production is done. In all such industries, we use process costing. Process means we are having raw material. We want to convert the raw material into finished goods. To convert the raw material into finished goods, in between, what are all the stages are there? Those stages are called process. Generally, there is a continuous flow of production. If you put the raw material, it keeps on processing through different process. What is getting convert into what raw material getting convert into finished goods? To appreciate the importance of process costing, we will take a practical example of a manufacturing company which converts, let's say, sugar cane into sugar. Sugar factory has got four process or four stages. We were on first process that is crushing where sugarcane is crushed and the output of this process is sugarcane juice. In processing industry, output of previous process becomes input of next process automatically. So the output here is sugarcane juice. We were on second process that is boiling and cleaning. Sugarcane juice becomes input for boiling and cleaning process. In big containers or big vessels, this sugarcane juice poured into and then using the fire, it is being boiled. The way we boil milk at home, similarly, sugarcane juice is boiled and chemicals are used to remove the impurities from the sugarcane juice. Therefore, sugar which we eat contains some part of chemicals because chemicals are used to clean the juice. You may ask, sir, why chemicals are used to clean the juice? Sugarcane juice is greenish or blackish in color, but the sugar which we eat is white. But white color is obtained after a lot of processing. How black or green color is converted into white? This is only after using chemicals. Like there is a stain on cloth. Dear students, what will you do if your shirt gets stained with ink and you need to clean it. I guess you will need a lot of detergent or chemicals to clean it. Similarly, blackish juice is cleaned to convert into white and therefore doctors advise eat less sugar. Sugarcane juice is boiled and impurities are removed using chemicals and purified juice enters into third process that is crystallization. We are on third process that is crystallization where liquid juice converted into sugar crystals. It is lengthiest and costliest process because liquid item is converted into solid granules and blackish or greenish item converted into white granules. So in this process it keeps on becoming thicker and thicker. Actually in the crystallization process cleaned sugarcane juice process through different chambers and slowly and slowly the juice becomes thicker and whiter and at the end of the crystallization process we will find white sugar coming out of the machine. We are on fourth process that is weighing and packing is last to process sugar being ready that sugar is caught in the jute bags or gunny bags and it is weighted. The final process is weighing and packing and then stored in the godown for dispatch. Now this is the process of manufacturing sugar. When a particular input goes through different process in order to become a final product. These are four process. Output of previous process becomes input for next process and so on. Now here in process costing we have to maintain the records process wise. Costing means ascertainment of cost. So you want to ascertain the cost at each stage of production that is for each process. So we will be preparing process wise account like T form. You would love it. You people are mastery in accounts, debit and credit only two sides. So process one account, process two account, process three account and so on. This is the way we proceed. It means we are preparing accounts in T form. 
debit and credit format now naturally on debit side you will have cost so you will get cost of producing the goods at process 1 on credit side we write by output transfer to next to process by process 2 this output will go here naturally debit the receiver credit the giver output transfer from 1 to 2 the entry will be process 2 account debit to process 1 account but along with this cost incurred in process 1 will get carried to process 2 this output will go here in the last process we have to calculate cost of finished goods but cost of finished goods will get accumulated over 3 or 4 process you are getting it are you getting it and for process 1 this is output for process 2 it is input never get confused by these words because for one process the word might be written output but it is input for next process for example you are the output of foundation process input for intermediate after a few months you will become output of inter process and you will become input for final process and you will become output for wealth of this country a qualified CA or CMA or CS is an asset of this country. It's your responsibility to prove that you are asset of this country, not the liability. That country should not fail. This is an additional responsibility to earth. You should prove that we are asset on this earth. That's your responsibility. So, output will keep traveling till last process. So, by cost of finished goods produced and will transfer to finished goods account. There is another account called finished goods account. Dear students, I hope you learn something new regarding process costing. Dear students, if you skip the video, I will appear from behind the screen to observe you. Just joking. It is neither a feeling or a song to be skipped. If you want to master any subject, you must pay attention to every second. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. How to approach process costing problems. Now, I divide the chapter into three sections and we will go through each one separately. It's just a quick overview of the process costing. Please keep in mind that I am calling this one simple questions for the sake of classroom reference because Institute has not given any such name easy question or a difficult question. These are simple questions in comparison. So I will call them simple one. In a question where there is no WIP adjustments, we call them simple because in processing industry, there will be work in progress. Like just for example, if you go to sugar factory, do you think on 31st March, there is nothing in the process. Everything is converted into sugar. It won't happen because the process is continuous in between the year end may come or month end may come. So in processing industry, as a process is continuous, some goods will always remain in the process. So the moment there is a question involving an adjustment of work in progress, the question shifts here because why I am discussing these things by looking at the question in the exam hall if a question appears in the question paper after having first look at the question first you should understand it belongs to which chapter isn't it or they will arrange with the heading this question is from service costing isn't it no so once you read the question at least this much click to your mind okay this seems to be a question on process costing in process costing there could be three varieties of questions which you have to identify which type of question it is what is the format of presentation what are the formulas what is the logic up to this if your mind does not reach you will not start solving the questions so you must first check whether there is an adjustment of WIP in the question of process costing. If no adjustment of WIP, it means neither opening work in progress is given nor closing work in progress is given. Means all goods are processed and converted into finished goods. In between process, you don't have any work in progress left. Simply speaking, stock at any process is working progress. Stock at any process except the stock in finished goods account. If the stock is lying in any process, it is WIP. If WIP is not there in the question, then you can assume 
that question is simple so here we have an adjustment of work in progress here means in second section at present now i am discussing no wip neither opening nor closing then question becomes a little simpler in this question we will have adjustments related to normal loss abnormal loss and abnormal gain which were very simple it's only matter of one question you will understand this is very very simple doing these adjustments of normal loss abnormal loss and abnormal gain this question can be answered with using one formula which i will write down later using a simple formula we only have one numerator and denominator in our formula all of these problems can be answered with only one simple formula that is why i categorize them as simple questions now we will understand what type of questions come from second section that is some goods are in wip and some are completed now let us take example what type of questions will be here let us say process one account you spend the money on material labor overheads okay one thing let me tell you overheads won't trouble you here reason it will be given ready made because there are other items to trouble overheads won't trouble so overheads will be given ready made you can just pick up and write it on debit side suppose you have spent on material labor and overheads 2 lakhs 50000 and this cost is incurred for processing 10000 units you started processing 10000 units out of this 10000 units 8000 units are complete complete for this process please remember doesn't mean it is finished goods but it is output of this process input for next process and 2000 units are incomplete because they require some more processing incomplete means wip please remember this is closing wip this will again become opening wip in the next period again i have to incur some more cost on material labor and overheads so 8000 units will be transferred to next to process but this units will remain here some more work is pending however i want to split 10000 units 2000 units will be carry forward to process 1 only and 8000 units will be transferred to process 2 so these two entries will go to different places now this 2 lakhs 50000 is a cost this cost of rupees 2 lakhs 50000 i have to split between completed units and incomplete units now you'll say sir easy sir 80 is to 2 ratio <laughs> if it would have been that simple then i would have written in simple questions i think 8000 units are 100% complete and 2000 units are not 100% complete again same story cat and dog you can't say 80 is to 2 so you have to convert incomplete units into completed units only for calculation i am repeating once again only for calculation suppose this 8000 units are 100% complete will be equal to 8000 and this 2000 units are 60% complete and then it is equivalent to 2000 into 60% 1200 equivalent units doesn't mean 1200 units are completed the answer is no nana only for calculation purpose 2000 into 60 percentage i can say like this 2000 units 60 percent complete will take the same cost what 1200 units 100 percent will take now these are also fully complete now we can do the working now this cost 2 lakhs 50000 can be divided in the ratio 80 is to 12 it means total cost will be divided by 9200 you'll get cost per unit cost per unit multiplied by the number of units out of which this cost will go to next to process this cost will get carried forward you may ask one question nana sir why equivalent production is used because part of the goods are completed part is incomplete and cost is common therefore i say equivalent production concept is applicable only when there is an adjustment of wip if there is no wip adjustment for example all 10000 units are complete what you will do transfer enter cost to 
next process if all of the goods are transferred to next process then it is simple question the moment there is WIP adjustment we have to split the cost into two parts and partly complete and fully completed units should be brought on the same platform only for calculation purpose third section that is inter process profit and transfers i will explain when solving sums it's a topic one process will transfer the goods to the next process at a profit dear students please consider subscribing and hit the like button if you enjoyed the process costing concept bye for the day